Hello and welcome back to our 12 days of Christmas patterns. Today is day nine and in today's tutorial we are going to be making our Christmas stocking ornament. This is such a fun pattern, works up super quickly and in my opinion would make a great gift for anyone. So let's grab our supplies and get started. So for today's tutorial, we are going to be using uh, Baby Snuggle yarn. I've chosen this blue color for the main stocking and a white color for the heel. We're also going to need some fur yarn. This is Loops and, and Threads Faux Fur for the top rim of the stocking. We're also gonna need our crochet hook. I'm gonna be using my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. We'll need a darning needle, some scissors, a stitch marker, and some ribbon to finish it off. So let's get into it. All right, now to begin, we're going to take our color A yarn, whatever that is for you. For me, it's my blue. And we're gonna start off with a magic ring. So we're just gonna wrap our yarn around. If you need a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my magic ring, uh, I will li link a video for you to watch here. Um, but any way you do it, if you can do one, it works. So once we have our magic ring, we're going to place six single crochets inside the ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna pull our end to close off our ring. And there is round one completed. Now we're going to place a stitch marker. Now I personally like to use a scrap strand of yarn as my stitch marker and I just place it right in front of my very last stitch and we'll move on to round two. So for round two, we are going to do an increased stitch in each stitch around. So an increased stitch is two single crochets in one. So we're gonna insert and put one single crochet in this first single crochet from the first round. And then we're gonna go right back in and place another single crochet in that same stitch. We're gonna do that all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Just like that. Now for round three, we're gonna do the combination single crochet one and an increased stitch. So single crochet in this first stitch and an increase in the second. So two stitches in one. And then we're gonna repeat that a total of six times. And our stitch count should be 18 at the end of round three. Single crochet increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, and increase. And we're back at our stitch marker so I know that I'm done this round. Now we're gonna move on to round four. Now for rounds four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, so that's six rounds, we're going to do single crochet 18. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around for six rounds. So I'm gonna complete rows four through nine off camera, and then I will meet you back here for the next step. All right, so this is up to round nine completed. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm just going to keep this yarn, a long tail in this yarn, and we're gonna put it to the side for now because we're gonna work on the heel now before we continue along with the uh, sock portion. So I'm just gonna take my white yarn or whatever you've decided to use as your heel color, and I'm just going to make a slip knot here just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count to the eighth, eighth stitch from where we last left off with our blue. 
So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight right here. So once we reach our eighth uh, stitch from where we started, we're going to place a slip knot. Please, here we go. I'm just gonna recount here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just gonna make a slip knot here. Now what we're gonna do is in the same stitch that we're in, we're gonna place a single crochet. And then we're gonna continue and place a total of eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's what we're looking like after round one of our white part of the heel. So once we have completed our eight single crochets, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one, chain one and we're gonna flip our work. So now we're gonna be working backwards. So this is called a short round. If you've never done a short round before, that's what it's called. So for round two of our short round, what we're gonna start off with is a decrease stitch. So decrease stitch is grabbing the first front loop of the first stitch, the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through both those front loops, yarn over, pull through. Now we're gonna place four single crochets one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna end with a decrease again. So one in the front, and then the front of the second one here, if I can get it in there. Sometimes these guys can be hard to get into. There we go. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So now you should have a total of six stitches on the top. Next, we're going to chain one and turn. Now working backwards again, we're gonna do another decrease stitch. So the front loops of the first two stitches here Yarn over, pull through both loops, yarn over, pull through. And then we're gonna do two single crochets. So one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then another decrease stitch. So right now you should be noticing that you're kind of getting a little bit smaller. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now for round four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with an increase stitch. So we're gonna start widening, widening again. So we're gonna increase, so two single crochets in one stitch. So one, two. Then we're gonna single crochet two. One, two. And then we're gonna place another increase stitch in the very last stitch here. So we're back up to six stitches. I'm sorry, we were at four stitches before we did this round and now we're back up to six. Chain one and turn. Now we're gonna do that again. So increase in this first stitch. So two stitches in one. And then we're gonna single crochet four. One, two, three and four, and an increase. Is that right? Get under both those loops of that stitch. There we go. Okay. 
so we should have eight stitches now on the top. Now this is what we're looking like. So we went smaller and then we went bigger again. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut my yarn here. And I'm just going to pull that through. And there is part one of our heel complete. All right, so once we have our heel crocheted, now we're going to sew it together. So I'm gonna take my darning needle and I'm gonna put that on my end with my white yarn here. Now I'm gonna turn my work so the hole to the center is facing me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this down in, in half. I'm gonna take my darning needle and I'm gonna sew these side edges together. I'm not touching this long edge here. I'm just sewing together these two sides. And this is gonna form our heel. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tie a little knot here. Go. Take my yarn off and then I'm going to take my yarn in from when we started on the other side and I'm going to sew together that side too. Just the edge here. Just like that and then again I'm just going to make a little knot. And now this little pocket that we've made here is going to be our heel. All right, so once our heel portion is completed, we are gonna move on back to the sock portion. So we should have 10 stitches in the blue and eight stitches in the white. And that should total a count of 18. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go along, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to jump up to the white here. So we're going to do eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Jump back down, 16, 17, and 18 and that is round 10 so we stopped the sock at round 9 we added our short round in but we're still on round 10 of our sock portion so that's how I usually count it while we're here I'm just gonna take a smaller crochet hook and I'm just gonna pull my yarn ends through so they're not sticking out the outside Ten. There we go. And I'm just going to cut this so those can live inside our sock. Now that was round 10 completed. Now for row 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, so six rounds we're gonna do single crochet 18. So that's one single crochet in each stitch around until round 16 is completed. One, two, three, four, 
5. So just complete this all the way to round 16, and I'll meet you back here for round 17. All right, so this is what we're looking like once we've completed up to round 16. So we're almost done. We just have one more round to go. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take our furry yarn. If you want to do a furry uh, brim around the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take out our very last stitch. Just bring it back to our two loops. And I'm just going to cut my blue yarn here. Now instead of ending this single crochet with our blue yarn, I'm just going to pull that blue yarn to the side. And I'm going to grab my fluffy yarn. And I'm going to pull that through. Just keep that end over there. And now all we're going to do is we're going to do one more round of single crochet 18 with the fluffy yarn. One. Two, three, and I'm just going to do this all the way around. This yarn is definitely harder to use if you find that you need a larger crochet hook. You can definitely do that. I'm just still using my 5.5. I'm just making sure I'm grabbing the edge. The strand. Now I'm just going to cut that yarn here. Now first I'm just going to take the two yarn ends of the blue and the white. I'm just going to tie a little knot here just to secure my ends. I'm just going to stick those down, remove my stitch marker. I'm just going to insert my hook into the next stitch over and I'm going to pull that through. I pulled through both strands, that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this on my darning needle. Do it one at a time here. Oh my goodness. This yarn is very difficult to get on. And one. So just, I'm just going to pull that through to the bottom on the inside so I can tuck that into inside the stocking there. And I'll just do the exact same thing on this side. The fur yarn is my favorite touch of this project. It really does, as hard as this yarn is to work with, it really does complete the project. Perfect. So I'm just gonna push that through. There we go. Stick that in there. And there is our finished stocking completed. Now you may notice you have some small holes here. I don't know if you can see that. Just from uh, where we made the short round, sometimes you can get a hole in there. So I'm just going to sew that up really quickly. I'm just going to take my color A yarn. So the same yarn we used for our um, the stocking portion. I'm just going to cut a small piece here and onto my darning needle. I'm just gonna kinda close this up. I'm just gonna close it up with a little knot here. And then I'm gonna just push that through.
got lots of stuff on the inside, so of course it caught everything on the way out. And I'm just going to cut that yarn. Stuff everything back in. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side because I have a little hole there as well. Just going to tie a little knot. And stick that through. And then I'm just going to pull, pull through these last yarn tails. Just like that. So once we have our stocking completed, we're going to add our ribbon. So I just have this white satiny ribbon and I'm just going to put it on my darning needle. And I'm just going to pinch the top and I'm going to put it through both sides. This is going to kind of sew through, like sew up the top of my project so that I don't have any of my yarn ends coming through. Um, another option is to actually sew together the top edge. That's totally fine. If you're giving this as a gift and you're nervous, they're going to find all your yarn ends in there. That's kind of what I like to do. I'm just going to bring you out a tad here. So for the ribbon, I just put it through right in the middle. All I like to do here is just tie a little knot. And if you are giving this as a gift or you're using this for market prep, I would just put a little um, piece of... Uh, hot glue here to really secure it. I just find these ribbons are so slippery. And I'm just going to make a little bow. Like that. And again, sometimes I can secure that with a hot glue gun. And there is your Christmas stocking completed. I hope you guys really enjoyed this pattern. This one's one of my favorites. It's super easy, works up quickly, and it's the cutest one, I think. So uh, stay tuned tomorrow. We are moving on to day 10. I can't wait to show you what I have. Otherwise, you guys have a lovely day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.